The FortiGate 4800F is Fortinet's most powerful next-generation firewall. It delivers coordinated, automated, end-to-end -end threat protection across all use cases. The specific case we're looking at here is distributed denial-of-service attacks. Launching a DDoS attack can be relatively inexpensive for the attacker. According to the 2022 Dark Web Price Index, a 24-hour DDoS attack with 20 to 50,000 requests per second can cost the attacker as little as 200 US dollars, coffee money. We have a great collaboration with Keysight Technologies, using the 400 gigabit Ethernet ports on their APS M8400 to test the FortiGate 4800F, scaling up to 3 terabits per second of firewall throughput. In this demonstration, we will be sending up to a total of 3 terabits per second. This is made up of 2.2 terabits of legitimate traffic and 800 gigabits of DDoS flood traffic, which is dropped by the FortiGate 4800F without any impact to legitimate traffic. In this demonstration, we're using a bidirectional firewall policy. This test also demonstrates the effectiveness of Fortinet's NP7 network processing chip in defending against volumetric DDoS attacks. We have two DDoS policies enabled on two 400 gigabit interfaces, ports 21 and 22. For DDoS blocking, we have configured a low threshold for the UDP flood to show the high rate at which the NP7 can drop these DDoS attacks. The Log Anomaly page, currently blank, is where DDoS attacks will be flagged in the logs as the DDoS policy drops these packets. We will see this page again later, while testing with the DDoS attack. Now let's take a look at the interfaces that we're using for this test. We're using a total of 8 400 gigabit Ethernet ports. This is the highest powered FortiGate in the high-end FortiGate lineup, with a total of 16 NP7s, capable of up to 3 terabits per second of firewall throughput. Let's take a quick look at the DDoS flood traffic as well. Note that the UDP flood traffic will start one minute after the regular traffic, which will have ramped up to its maximum by that point. Another 400 gigabit Ethernet port will also be used to send the DDoS traffic. The test is ramping up and currently at 200 gigabits of throughput. The traffic used for legitimate traffic is HTTP traffic with 1 megabyte file size transactions. Each interface is evenly distributed with traffic from the M8400. The traffic is now ramping up to the maximum of 2.2 terabits per second of HTTP traffic with a total of 6 400 gigabit ports fully loaded. Also note that all sessions are offloaded to the security processing unit, making CPU utilization negligible. We've reached the maximum of 2.2 terabits per second. Each port is handling about 391 gigabits per second of traffic in each direction. Now DDoS traffic has started up and we can see it only on the transmit side, since, as expected, the FortiGate is dropping the DDoS traffic without any impact to the CPU or legitimate firewall traffic performance. From the bandwidth statistics, we can also see the 800 gigabits per second of DDoS flood traffic being dropped. Consistently, we have all the sessions still being offloaded to the SPU with no impact to legitimate traffic or the CPU, though there is some negligible CPU usage from generating the DDoS anomaly logs. Ports 21 and 22 show the total of 800 gigabits per second of DDoS traffic which is dropped by the DDoS protections on the FortiGate with no impact to legitimate traffic or the FortiGate's regular operations. From the FortiGate anomaly event logs, we can see all the DDoS flood attack counts that were dropped by the FortiGate's DDoS protections. The FortiGate's NP7 provides built-in hardware acceleration for DDoS protections, allowing for no performance impact while protecting legitimate traffic. The FortiGate 4800F with 16 NP7 network processing chips has the most powerful firewall and IPsec performance for service providers looking at CGNAT or security gateway use cases. With our partner Keysight's 400 gigabit APS M8400, we are able to demonstrate the true extent of the FortiGate's DDoS protection capabilities, blocking 800 gigabits per second of DDoS traffic while still handling over 2 terabits of legitimate firewall traffic.